Hello, this is Jason Ledbetter with the Sunfrog Academy, and in this training video, you're going to learn how to target blogs, websites, and stores with your Facebook advertising. Now, targeting blogs, websites, and stores ensure you're reaching the audience that consumes content and buys niche-related products in your target market. So let's just say for an example that you're going to sell a yoga t-shirt. If you could get that yoga t-shirt in front of niche yoga blog readers or people that frequent yoga websites or even buy other yoga products from yoga stores then you're gonna have a much greater and higher chance of success of selling that yoga t-shirt compared to if you was just to throw it out there to a very broad audience you wanna get your advertisement in front of these niche related blogs websites and stores so I'm gonna show you over the shoulder exactly how to research and identify these different websites and blogs and stores and then we're going to take those interests in website names and go over to Facebook and see if we can target that audience with our product. So let's hop over the shoulder right now and go to Google. Okay, so we're here at Google and let's just stick with our yoga example. We could type in yoga website and hit enter. And then we're just going to scroll through the results here and we're going to grab some URLs. So we have yoga journal and we want to add this to a notepad or Excel. Here's another yoga website. And you can also just read the headline and look at the description so you can see online yoga videos. So do yoga with me. Sydney Lee is the first female Western yoga teacher to fully integrate yoga. So we can grab this here. And we really just want to continue going down Google here. And here's the top 10. So anytime we can find a directory is good. And we'll open that in another tab. But we just want to continue going down the list here and grabbing all these different yoga websites, yoga related websites. Yoga. And then when you get down here to the bottom, I even like to look at the searches related to yoga websites. So free yoga online, yoga magazine, what is yoga? And if any of these sound relevant, I will open those up in a new tab. And then I just start going through those tabs. So here's the top 10 yoga websites. And we can open these up. And I would grab all 10 of these. I'm kind of hopping around, but I would go down the list. And that was actually a Facebook page. So I'll grab this and just keep grabbing all these URLs from the results. Okay, so we can also do yoga blog. And we'll do the same thing like we did with yoga website. We'll just start grabbing URLs or opening them up in another tab. And I would continue going down the list. You can also type in yoga directory. And the neat thing about this is this is going to open up a bunch of directories where there's going to be a lot of links to other yoga websites. It's kind of like a shortcut. So we'll open up some of these. So another search could be yoga store. So we have the yoga outlet up here. Now the really cool thing about the yoga store, by typing in yoga store, these are actually stores that sell yoga products. So if we're actually able to target any of these interests in Facebook, this is a really good buyer's interest because people that follow these uh, because people that follow these stores here are typically buyers of our product. Now Dick's Sporting Goods, that's way too broad, so I'm not going to grab that. I'm looking for just yoga stores. We want very niched yoga stores. All right, let's go back to our sheet. So we have looked at yoga blog, yoga website, 
Yoga Store. Now we can also hop over to Amazon and type in yoga because we're looking for different types of yoga products. So let's see, we got Yoga Mat, the Yoga Bible, Yoga Socks. So we can even go over to Google and type in Yoga Mats and we can even find stores that specialize in yoga mats. So we're just trying to find niche related products and all these things we can search back in Google and find other websites, blogs, and stores. So we can look up yoga blocks, yoga mats, yoga strap, all these different types of products. So another so another trick you can do is type in the niche plus buy product. So we can type in buy yoga and maybe I type in A and we see accessories, B, books, C, clothes. And each one of these is going to pop up different results in different websites that we can grab the links to. So going back to our list here, we have niche plus buy product, what we just went over, niche plus blog, niche plus website, niche plus store. Now I'm going to show you how to use a site called Similar Web to find even more related websites. So we're here at Similar Web, and we want to take one of our sites. So I know that this was a popular one, Yoga Journal, and we can pop that in here and hit search. And that's going to pop up some details here on Yoga Journal. We can see that this is ranked 25,000 worldwide, 10,000 in the United States, and actually 22 in the category of fitness. So what I like to do is scroll down here to the bottom and you're going to see similar sites. And this is going to show us all the similar sites to Yoga Journal. So let's just open these up in another tab. And these are all URLs that we can grab and add to our list because they're related to Yoga Journal. So that's a nice little trick is using similar web to find similar websites or blogs or stores Okay, so now that we built our list, we're going to go to business.facebook.com and we want to go to our business manager and then you come up here to menu and all tools and we're going to click on ads manager. And once we hit the ads manager, we're going to come up here to create ad and we're going to go through the process like we're creating an ad. So I'll just click increase conversions on your website. We're just trying to get to the Facebook suggest tool so we can see which of these websites interests that we can actually target with our advertisements on Facebook. So we're going to come down here to audiences right here at detail targeting. And now we're going to pull up our interest list and we're going to start copy and pasting these interests inside here to see if they're available interests that we can target with our Facebook advertisements. And here we go. Let's grab yoga journal. Pop it in here. If it doesn't pull up, I like to backspace the .com, and if that still doesn't work, I like to space it out. And there we go, Yoga Journal. That's an interest. We can do Yoga Finder. Back out the .com, space it, and no Yoga Finder. ABC of Yoga, copy and paste it and back out the dot com. Nope. Yoga Today. Back out the dot com. Space it. There we go. Yoga Today. Pop this one in here back out the dot com there we go so you see this one I didn't have to space so you never know that's why I like to just copy the whole thing and work my way backwards sometimes the dot com will pop up there you go just as I was saying sometimes the dot com will pop up just like that so I like to put it in there that way and if it doesn't work then I back out the dot com and it could pop up like this here or I have to space everything out to pop up like these here so anytime the .com pops up, that's really, really good. These are kind of rare, so that's a really good sign. That's a really good interest. Pop this one in here. Back out the .com. And I'll just grab this last one here. 
Yoga Works. There we go. So I would go through the whole list and spend a lot of time going through my research stage. However, I want to show you something really cool. Once you start to build your interests in here, you start doing what I call interest stacking. Facebook starts to understand the audience that you're trying to go after. And then you can click suggestions and they will start to suggest other related interests. So you can see here's another website, doyoga.com. Here's another website, Yoga Outlet, and that was actually on the list, yoga.com. Yoga Dork, Yoga Download. We're getting a bunch of good.coms here. These are all really, really good interests. If you see an interest pop up and you're not sure what it is, you just want to search it and see to make sure it's part of your market. So here we go. This is a yoga website, and you see they also have workshops and teachers. So you know people that are in this audience here are definitely hardcore yoga people. So that's a great interest. Go back to suggestions. My Yoga Online. Yoga Download. And we just keep grabbing all the dot coms here. And that's how you use the suggest tool. Now last, I want to grab all my interests here. And I want to go up here to the menu and go to Audience Insights, which is a free tool that Facebook offers for you to dig into the demographics. I'm going to paste all my interests in here. And usually it forgets the last one because it says or, so yoga downloads. Now that we're in the Audience Insights tool and all our interests are here in our bucket, we can get a good feel for how big the audience is what the demographics I see it's 89 percent women and it looks like it's mostly 25 to I would say 54 that's the core demographics so that's good stuff to know when we're thinking about what we're gonna promote what product we're gonna promote what age range what gender but I like to come up here to page likes okay and I like to come down here to the categories and we can see website category and I like to see if these websites are in here so we already have yoga download let's type in Buddha Groove and you can see Buddha Groove, um, Tiny Buddha, there we go, and you can see Tiny Buddha website, so both of those popped up, cool. We can also look through some of these other categories here, so here's Clothing Yoga Outlet, Yoga Outlet, there we go, awesome. And every time you do that, it's going to kind of update these. So like now we have also Buddha inspiration. But what I'm also looking to do is come down here to page likes. And I'm looking for other related page with high infinity. Now, infinity is how likely your audience is to like a given page compared to everyone on Facebook. So Tiny Buddha here is 17 times more likely to like our interests here than the average user on Facebook. Now some of these we may already have in here, so I think Tiny Buddha is what we just entered, and I know that all these we just entered, but you want to grab some of these and pop them in here and see if they pop up, like that one popped up, mind, body, green, and we're just building our list here. There we go. So we're having a lot of luck with these, but sometimes they don't all pop up, but you just want to keep going through and going through and building your interest list. Once you have your interest list built, you can come up here till save and you can call this, I would call this precise website interests. Precise website yoga interests and click save so now we're back in the ads manager and whenever you're going to create an ad you can just go to use a saved audience and here's our precise website yoga interests and when we click that it opens up all of the interests that we already did research and saved now once I do save it from audience insights I do like to click edit and I do like to come back to the suggest and just see if there's any new suggestions in here for example, this could be a yoga one. I would Google that and just see if there's anything else new in here. And to take it even one step further, since we know these are all interests in Facebook, I like to take these and go back to similar web 
and see if we can find any similar websites. And you can see you just keep digging and digging, but it's very wise in the beginning of a campaign. If you know you're going to promote yoga, for an example, really spend the time, you know, take a whole day and just dig into your research and build this list up because you can save this list. And in the future, you don't have to do this. You already did all the interest research. So now every time you want to launch a yoga shirt, you already have the audiences done. So I would come in here and grab these and pop them back in the suggest tool, the interest box. And then once you do that, you just hit update and there you go. Your audience has been saved. Congratulations, you now know how to research and target blogs, websites, and stores with your Facebook advertisements.